one. This one is called This VTuber Corp has been humiliated beyond belief. Niji Sanji's anime expo 2024 disaster. Now, anytime there's Niji Sanji drama, I just assume what are they milking now? How is it possible that this agency is still in the middle of drama? Let's see what Mujin has to say. Welcome back yet again to the saga of Niji Sanji's downfall. How many arcs is it in right now? I think we're in like season six or season seven at this point, man. The never ending train wreck. Yeah. So as a recap, right in the beginning of the year, they were doing pretty damn well. Their stock price was high, but Good. it turned out that their work culture was so toxic that yeah. one of their VTubers tried to end their lives over it. And Jesus. The response was whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's the timeline right now? This is 2024. So hold up, hold up. Let's rewind the time a bit and think about the events that happened. So at what point did doki bird leave is this doki bird because like there was like zion lily stuff that happened i think back in like 2022 or 2023 december right and then there was a bunch of other shit that started happening i think the most recent the biggest one was doki bird and that correlates to this drop in stock price right now right okay 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 Niji Sanji's response was to terminate them and then say that the financial impact of this was gonna be negligible uh, that's that's pretty ballsy and the reason why they would ever even say this on paper while it may seem sorry this is regarding selling tatsuki right on february 5th 2024 any killer made a decision to terminate affiliation against uh niji sanji in live versus selling tatsuki selling is doki birds um alias in niji sanji right yeah 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 the impact of this decision on our financial results will be negligible you know why they sh say it like this this isn't them being like we're flexing this isn't them being all ballsy or something this is them sending a direct notice to the shareholders and niji sanji to say listen it looks bad right now i hear you but we have everything under control don't worry you don't have to back up no 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 the corporation is gonna be fine shareholders be negligible obviously that was not the case and it's been Yikes. a free fall since then but recently <laughs> as you can see here oh there has been somewhat of a recovery what happened? people thought you know what dude Maybe it's time to finally move on. Maybe it's time to start a new chapter. Well, as what you happened? can see, the recovery didn't last too long as it just fell again, right? Going uh -oh. from around 2,800 back to 2,400, losing 20% of its value in the process. Well, the question is, right? What happened here? What I'm going to assume it's the Anime Expo 2024, right? It has completely stopped this recovery. The answer is simple public humiliation why would anyone audition to become niji sanji english vtuber i think a lot of people aspiring content creators existing content creators small vtubers that just wants that extra push people that think like i am talented i am entertaining i just don't understand how to use the youtube algorithm or how to grow my platform so with corporate backing through big agencies like niji sanji i'm gonna get my opportunity to do it but i think a lot of people don't really realize what it means to be a corpo vtuber and i had never done corpo vtubing but i have studied the space and i have heard things and it's just not good at all even the reason why a lot of the who was that boy member in niji sanji uh luxium uh he went to he's he's kuro now there was that guy there was a whole debate there was a whole there's a whole um argument about fair merch pricing I, I we saw some ridiculous number right of like merch sale percentage one two percent mister right exactly mister right the creators don't get any share of the fucking money bro they get like nothing already if you do youtube streams and let's say you get like vox akuma for example right he's number one um he made i think if you look at just super donor super chats like 500k usd i think on one of the earning years let's just take that number even if it's true now let's just take that number for example what happens immediately is when you do a super chat on youtube half that shit immediately gets cut and gets given to youtube the platform so you're left with 250k are you gonna get all 250k fuck no because then the agency is gonna take a cut of that and then you're left with whatever you got and these deals are so so bad hey retard stop fucking messaging me about the same fucking thing i've seen your dumbass message just shut the fuck up and watch the stream and maybe you'll see if we did the reaction or not what next message i see you say something i'm gonna fucking ban your ass 
first fucking time in chat. You come in here, knocking in, not even realizing that we're reacting to a fucking video, thinking, oh, look at me, hey! Hey, Mr. Streamer, look at me! I wanna have a private conversation! The lack of awareness from you fucking weebs, man. I'm not surprised, though. Of course you're gonna behave like this. You're unfit for society. Of course you're gonna act like this. Even though Nijisanji's online reputation has been pretty much been burnt to ashes, they've yeah. never actually felt this humiliation in real life up until very recently in the summer of 2024 uh -oh. where it finally dawned on them just how much they botched their image in the west how this come i hear that the japanese branch is perfectly fine i hear they're doing amazing right now we just saw the Rosamie McDonald's, you know, uh, fucking hash browns with Twitter being mentally ill. That's not Rosamie's fault. But English brands is just so bad. And I think it's because they just have really bad managers. Uh, every time you hear things coming out from within, the creators talk about how the turnover rate for existing managers is so bad. The handlers, so bad. And they don't treat, you know, English it the same way that they do JP. Or maybe the JP creators, they do suffer from this shit too. But like, because obviously they're Japanese, a the collective, you know, mindset of being more modest and, you know, put your head down and grind and don't, you know, don't try to stick out like a nail. Maybe they're just being quiet because of the cultural differences. But the English brand, it's looking so, so bad. Company that was worth a billion dollars at some point on the Japanese stock exchange can't even compare to its biggest rival anymore. This is how Nijisanji got him. Sorry, let's look at that chart. The biggest rival is Hololive, right? What am I looking at here? Indices, I see stock over here, US 30, US 500, different stock. I, any color stock hit a new record low on Friday, extending recent, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna assume number one and number two is probably a ho ho like Hololive and Nijisanji, and Nijisanji is just falling off is the implication here. Heir to its biggest rival anymore. This is how Nijisanji got humiliated. Let's talk about it. But you know what isn't humiliating? <laughs> Spending all your money on a chance to pull for a 2D JPEG that moves around so that the void in your heart after you come back from work being single is suddenly a little bit better? An existential crisis created through capitalism? Yeah, that's not humiliating. Marrying your favorite 3D waifu in your favorite gotcha wow. game. Wow. I'm of course talking about yeah, use your discount code Mujin to get your first free pulls. The designs are crazy, though. God damn, this one on the left, though. This one on the left. I might actually have to check this out. Is this an actually good game? Snowbreak Containment Zone? The designs. I'm, I'm, I'm getting baited by the Coomer. I'm being baited. This video. So as you might already know, there are many anime fans outside of Japan. And one of, if not the biggest anime event of the year anime is Expo. held in Los Angeles at the Anime Expo. This event is huge and it's known- Oh! Oh, can, I can already smell that room. Oh, fuck no. I, again, I will never go to any of these meetings. I will never go to an anime con. I will never go to an anime expo. My god, just the sheer stench. The sheer force of 10,000 weebs unshowered for three months as they go through a training arc to be the most nastiest fucking degen as they gear into anime expo. Uh-uh, I ain't going. To have an infamous reputation of overcrowding because there's just that many people who go Ugh. there. Every summer, people look forward to not only the stands and displays that are there, but also the announcements that are made there for the first time as opposed to being made in Japan. But this isn't just exclusive to anime. It's about things related to anime, oh, like VTubing. It's held in the Los Angeles Convention Center. This is a huge center, and it's where E3 used to be held, right? I'm okay. sure you know what E3 is. Now, Nijisanji, just like their biggest VTuber competitor... Crunchyroll, L, L, Crunchyroll. That's funny that there's a Faku over here right behind them. Not sure if you guys can see the resolution. Crunchyroll, Faku over here. Anyways. Competitors were set to be there, but unlike their competitors, they wanted to take it to the next level. Oh. So not only were they going to have a significant presence on the expo floor, but they were partnering up with Anime Expo wow. for the Summer Jam. This summer was going to be Sanji Ien's first ever full 3D concert. So wait a minute, full 3D concert? I've heard about this shit before. Isn't this another drama that Niji Sanji had in the past 
where they were gearing up to some kind of 3D event, but then after the creators put all their fucking, you know, time and investment into the project, Niji Sanji decided to pull the event. This happened a couple of years ago, right? I remember this being another pivotal drama that happened with Niji Sanji and the reason why people are getting so upset with them. In the United States, it was going to be an hour and a half long and held at the Peacock Theater. Wow. But it wasn't just going to be one concert. It was going to be two. One <gasps> on July 6th and the other one on July 7th. Okay. The first one was going to expose their English talents, right? But the second one had some of their biggest Japanese talents as well. So they were really going all out for the global. Okay, you know, we got the global, we got the English speaking, and we got the Japanese talents, you know, going into the concert. Surely, what could go wrong? Global English speaking audience here. Yeah. Held in the Peacock Theater. This isn't a small theater. As I said, they were investing quite a bit in this. It was announced in May 2024, but by the beginning. I wonder if they're actually going to pull the event. Like, not once, but twice. Oh my god. This, if, they do, if, they, if, if this is the core of today's drama, oh my god. Beginning of June, some people started to show concern. Uh -oh. You see, the problem was that the tickets were simply not selling. Oh. As you can see, any seats in green were just <laughs> not... Oh, I thought green meant they're occupied. So, of, you can see where the seats are right now. Everybody bought these, yeah, close by, but... Oh, oh, and that happens when the image, the PR, the public image of your brand is so bad, people don't even want to associate themselves with Niji Sanji. So I guess this makes sense why people opted out to buy tickets here. Not booked yet. No one, <laughs> no one was buying the tickets. This was in the Peacock Theater, bro. And in the general area, they hadn't even sold half of the tickets. Oof. The pit which usually sells out first, was also not fully booked. Oof. And these two right here were for the July 6th concert, and this one was for the July 7th concert. Damn, both JP and English concerts. None of them were down with it, huh? This was unexpected. <laughs> That's a fun it says Kuro Sanji over here. This subreddit Mujin is pulling up this picture from? Kuro Sanji. Because, you know, black company, Kuro is black, Niji Sanji, Kuro Sanji. By Niji Sanji fans, Niji Sanji haters, and Niji oh, Sanji shit. themselves, and their talents. Like, what? The majority of the seats are empty. <laughs> but time kept going by, okay? Weeks kept going by. The tickets were not selling, but people thought, you know what, dude? They're not going to cancel this. They've already invested so much into it. I'm I mean, they've done it once. They can do it again, right? Like, for sure they're gonna cancel this, right? It's a fucking embarrassment. It, they're 100% gonna cancel it, right? I'm sure they're gonna find a solution. Maybe do giveaways, give out tickets. I don't know, something, right? Yikes. They have to, right? Well, <laughs> on June 25th, oh boy. 2024, Nichi Sanji put out this tweet. Bear in mind, this is like barely a week before the concert was meant to take place, all right? Here's what they said. Important update regarding Nijisanji EN Summer Jam and welcome to Wonder Wander World concert in LA. This is an important update what an alliteration. regarding Nijisanji EN Summer Jam and welcome to Wonder Wander World concert in LA. Originally scheduled for July 6 to 7 at the Peacock Theater during Anime Expo 2024. While we were incredibly excited to bring you our first ever 3D concert in North America, recently- I just want you to realize that this is trending right now at that time. <laughs> I don't know why, but- developments have made it clear that creating the optimal environment for an unforgettable experience for our fans and our livers is no longer feasible. Oh, what do you mean unforgettable experience? This is definitely an unforgettable experience and thing. It's going to be represented on the stock value in the people's memories of the brand of Niji Sanji. This is for sure unforgettable, just not in the way that they think it is. Further details can be found at the following websites. Please rest assured that full refunds for the concert tickets okay, will be processed. Refunds. Details regarding the refund process will be announced soon on our official X accounts and the websites mentioned above. We are also working on special perks to show our appreciation for all who purchase tickets. And Man, could you imagine if they didn't do a refund? Holy fuck, the, the amount of drama that would have happened if they actually said no refunds allowed, but thank you for buying our tickets. We're gonna, we're gonna pull a rug again. like. That would have been insane. And then they made sure to specify that they will be at Anime Expo on booth E65 E70 and that they weren't canceling that. 
The full explanation on their website states that they will be doing it live on YouTube instead and okay. that it will be free. However, that's only for the concert that was meant to be on July 6th. The one that was meant to be on July 7th was completely canceled, but people who bought a ticket for it were going to get a mini live concert footage. What mini live means? concert so footage? understandably, right? The first reaction for a lot of people was absolute and utter disappointment, right? You had people like this person here yeah. saying, I'm like a joke. I spent so much money on flight tickets and hotel, and now you told me the concert is canceled? I bought the Anime Expo ticket because it requires one to enter the concert. Who will be responsible for refunding that? It's so- Damn! This guy had to buy the Anime Expo ticket, not because he wanted to go to Anime Expo, but because you needed it for the Niji Sanji concert. That is sad. And like, yeah, you could think like, what a fucking loser. Like, it's, it, you get what you deserve for, you know, trying to, you know, support this company. Like, you shit in your research. Yeah, it's, it's just sad, man. This guy's missing out on money. Like, genuinely was like excited for the Niji Sanji concert. Bought an extra ticket on top of that to get in. And then it gets canceled. Like, I, it's, this is just a disaster, man. So ridiculous. So since they were partnering up with Anime Expo, you needed an Anime Expo ticket on top of the concert ticket to actually be able to go in. Wah, and what this wah. person is saying is that the only reason they even bought an Anime Expo ticket was for this concert. This is a super fan that absolutely got it up the ass because of Niji Sanji. Bear and you know what? There's no, there's no problem with being a super fan, right? They genuinely enjoy Niji Sanji and just because people call it Kuro Sanji and all the drama, it doesn't mean that all of Niji Sanji is bad, right? Some of the livers, I'm sure, like, are decent people, right? But at, at a certain point, you got to really sit down and think to yourself and be like, shit, like, I'm getting fucked. Like, this experience, if this doesn't change that person, like, I wonder if this person will continue buying all the merch and all that other shit, or if they're going to be like, fuck this shit, I'm done. I don't know. At, at a certain point, I think you got to take a hint. These tickets are not cheap, especially if you're coming from abroad where you might not have the purchasing power that is in the United States. So if you bought a True. Imagine that you're from like, I don't know, a place where the currency is so much lower than the US dollar and you bought all this shit to get there. Pretty much like, imagine like putting like your six months of savings into this one experience and then you get fucked for that. A ticket just for Niji Sanji's concert, you weren't going to get that refunded. This was very embarrassing. It was embarrassing as a fan and it was embarrassing for Niji Sanji because everyone got screwed over here. They had- Man, I thought this would be a funny drama and it kind of was, and, but now it's just sad. This, this, is just, this is just like pathetic, man. This is just like not pathetic as in like, oh, you're pathetic for buying that ticket, but like genuinely what pathetic means of like, this is just sad. Everything about this is just not a good look overestimated how many people would show up to their concert and got screwed over royally just looking at this gives me secondhand embarrassment man like oh my god i am there cringing was no a bit. winning here they just didn't sell enough even if they went live with this the talents would see how many people showed up and think Fuck, like this is embarrassing even though they ended up streaming the concert online and mm. the fans seemed to like it especially the one that's rosami right this one is finana right is she finana is she the one that makes the sussy moaning noises? Rosami and Finana? Online and the fans seem to like it, especially the ones that couldn't go initially. There was something- and I like this girl too. She's just a straight up penguin, bro. Like, <laughs> she, her entire identity? Like, everyone else has like lore and shit like that? She is like, I'm a penguin. <laughs> okay. Something else that happened at Anime Expo that was so humiliating. It was the fact that no one showed up. <laughs> Ooh, I saw, I saw this tweet. I saw this tweet. I saw this picture because, like, you can see V Shoujo, uh, whatever Doki Bird. Uh, oh, this is Doki Bird specifically. Her, uh, uh, Hollow Live over here. You see a lot of the fans over here. Niji Sanji is just empty. And someone said, someone actually did a fact check. This is actually not uh, true. Like, yes, this picture is true, but it's like intentionally caught during like a really low time. I forget the exact reasoning. But this one, I think, has been debunked of, like, it's intentionally making Niji Sanji look bad. It's actually not as bad. But the concert sales tickets, like, that, that is a fact. No one showed up to their stand. They had taken such a big space and there was literally no one there. Legal Mindset had made this tweet asking, is this real? Where you see Niji Sanji's booth absolutely empty, while their competitors Hololive and Vishojo absolutely full as well 
as indies like Doki, Doki Bird, Bird also being full. Now, of course, some people were concerned, like, okay, listen, it's fun to make fun of Niji Sanji, whatever, but maybe this was when the expo was still opening or when it was closed. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Then again, all I did was read a random fucking tweet that quote unquote debunked that this picture was, you know, real or not. That person could have been lying too. What's the truth here? Right? Maybe this is just fake news. Well, someone was kind enough to take a video. VTuber Cringe on Twitter <laughs> okay. was kind enough to take this video. I sped it up by two times. And as you can see, they brought out statues, you know, here's cool. a couple right here. You know, you have Alira Pandora and then you have Shu Yamino, who is a Japanese VTuber Niji Sanji. And you have a bunch of figurines, right? Like the whole okay. thing is set up in a cool way. I mean, you know, the stand itself isn't Where's bad. Where's the but fans, as you can see, though? It's a ghost town. It's a, there's no one here. There's more Ooh. VTubers on the walls than there are Ooh. people, okay? more VTubers on the walls than there are people. It is so embarrassing, man. I can't watch anymore. I'm actually this, cringing. in contrast to their biggest competitor, Hololive, is insane because they just showed up to the LA Dodgers Stadium. Where yeah, they did, bro. I saw Gra singing, take me to the ball game in like a baseball theater. Like, this is huge. And then you see other projects, like, for example, uh... We had Suicide Squad Isekai anime, and then the ending was done by... Fuck, I know her past life, dude. Why is it fucking slipping out of my mind right now? Mori, yeah, Mori Calliope. Yeah, that's her Mori, Mori Calliope. Another Hall of Life talent that's just like doing bigger things, doing bigger collaborations, while Niji Sanji is just looking so bad. Where three of their top talents co-presented and sang the baseball anthem to an almost full stadium. They called the event Hall of Life Night, and it was cool. a massive success with a good amount of Dodgers fans that were grateful for it because the stadium was full, but they also managed to pull a comeback after a Hololive VTuber sang. That's hype. They actually made a comeback after like Gura or someone sang? That's, that's pretty hype. And it is crazy that like VTubers, these weebs, they are reigniting the ticket sales of Dodgers Arena. Like the fucking <laughs> baseball industry. MLB is getting clutched right now by Hololive. Dang. <laughs> Attributing their luck to Gargura singing. There was this very wholesome post made on the Hololive subreddit where a Los Angeles Dodgers fan was thanking the Hololive and VTubing community for wow. making that match one of the best Dodger games a fan since birth has ever seen from their perspective. So yeah, it's very clear the VTuber industry is shifting towards Hololive and leaving Niji Sanji behind right now. I mean, I don't keep up with VTuber news that often, but I've always been under the premise that Hololive was number one, that they dominated. And their image is so clean compared to Niji Sanji. And Niji Sanji has been number two, but they've always been enveloped in drama and controversy that made their image look pretty bad. Not once did I ever think that Niji Sanji was directly like competing on the same level as Hololive. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe in the past, during like Niji's like greatness during the golden era, the numbers were pretty good, but it's looking like Hololive is just gonna swallow up Niji. And like, wonder what's gonna happen with Niji now too. Will they disband? Like, how do you possibly clean up this image? Quite often when a corporation fucks up, um, one of the things that you can do to ensure that the fans, existing fans, will continue supporting their product or the corporation is by replacing, you know, the CEO, right? Just replace the CEO, get someone new in charge with a different leadership and mentality and vision and promise the fans that we're going to go a different direction and bring Niji Sanji. We're going to make Niji Sanji great again, right? But I, but the CEO of Niji Sanji, I don't think that's going to happen. Like, do you guys know who the CEO of Niji Sanji is? He's like 20-something, super young guy, one of the youngest billionaires in Japan. You saw him during the apology video. And yeah, I hear that, you know, Niji Japan branch, for example, is still doing amazing, right? It's just the English brands that's looking really fucking bad. So maybe English will just get washed away into obscureness and those talents will go to different agencies like Bishoujo and other places. And, you know, Japan will just continue to dominate. Who knows? No. This is an important comparison to make because while Hololive is a corporation, just like Niji Sanji, the main difference is that they do try their best to treat their talents as well as they can. Where Niji Sanji has proven to us time and time again that is not the case. If anything, yeah. they have crazy favoritism and a very toxic culture. 
So this is one of the main reasons why the stock has fallen. This rally signified hope for investors. Like, listen, man, maybe they'll just make a comeback. Yeah, this is the stock buyback where corporations, they're going to buy their own stock back to pump that shit up. Who knows what really happened here? And then this is Anime Expo and everyone's like, ah, shit, it's looking bad. I don't know. How are they going to recover? Should they recover? I don't know. This concert at the Peacock Theater in LA, their presence in Anime Expo, like, come on, right? This will really show us that all this stuff has been over-exaggerated. Well, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it was not negligible. What happened in February was simply not negligible. Do I think this is the end of Nijisanji? No, no. But it was most definitely humiliating. They definitely can come back from this, but it'll take a long time to get back to where they were when it comes to their global audience. Yeah, like, trust how clean your image looks, once that trust is broken, it's really hard to make a comeback. It's gonna take a long time of appeasing to fans and not slipping up. You need to be very consistent about it, right? That's why when all this shit went happening, like, I, I'm sure they said that there's not gonna be a significant loss of stocks because they always wanted to make the shareholders not panic, but when your brand image is looking this bad, like, you need a complete rebrand. You need decisive decision-making to shift whatever vision they have for the English branch, because it is just not working out. I just hope that in the process, no one gets hurt like their past talents and they can foster a healthy work environment. Maybe that'll help them, I don't know, sell, sell tickets, more than half the available tickets in the Peacock Theater. Oh, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. And uh... guys, Please go give Mujin a like and sub to the channel if he hasn't. That was a nice little explanation of what's going on with Niji right now. But it is, you, you know the term, right? You reap what you sow. You acted as such a bad company. You mistreated all the Ian, you know, livers. Maybe not all, but you've seen how bad the management was. You've seen all the different drama and leaks come out from within. It's looking so bad. So you're getting what you fucking deserve. And a part of me is like, nice. Niji Sanji, English branch, you can get fucked. And this is simply people voting with their wallets, moving with their feet and saying, we don't want to support this shit. But on the other hand, it's like the creators, the people that signed up the contracts, the people that just got into Nisanji thinking that this was their dream to make or start their career in VTubing and try to do something else. I feel so bad for those people that's just wrap up in this chaos and it's simply just getting the backlash or being, you know, attached to Nisanji. But it's just a tough situation overall, but we'll see. The more the Niji Sanji, you know, gets in drama, the more drama videos that we can farm, the better they do. Maybe the creators, you know, the talent, you know, does better, but it's just a sad situation overall.